Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you have had an amazing holiday break if you're on break or if you have just a couple of days off to spend time with friends and family. That is what is most important. So today I am actually showing you a massive, huge unhaul. So I started thinking about my 2018 goals, how I want to read 52 cozies in a year and just what I want to read. And I started looking at my TBR shelves because there was more than one shelf um, that I, I haven't even read. Like I started hauling these books probably at the beginning of my YouTube channel in June and I I wasn't gonna read them. I wasn't interested in reading them. I was at the time because they were hyped and I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be a good book. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good book. I'm not saying that they're not fantastically amazing, great books. I'm just saying that they're not necessarily for me right now. So a lot of these are books that I hauled at the beginning of the summer, but then a lot of them are from either um, books that I've read probably six, seven, eight years ago that I haven't ever picked up again and they're just taking valuable space on my shelves where other books could be going or they were part of my master's degree. Um, I have my master's in American studies with an emphasis on Native American and women's studies and so I had to do a lot of research on um, American history and you'll see I did um, a really big project on Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson and so I'm unhauling some of those books because I'm, I'm not going to use them anymore and if I ever need them again I can always um, get them at my local library. So without further ado let's get started. So I am actually unhauling the whole entire Pretty Little Liars series. Now I'm just going to go through and name the names. I'm not going to say anything about the books. They were good books at the time. I was addicted to the TV show so yeah, so the first one is um, Pretty Little Secrets, A Pretty Little Liars Collection. I'm unhauling Crushed, Allie's Pretty Little Lies, Stunning, Burned, Ruthless, Flawless, Heartless, Killer, Unbelievable, Perfect, Wanted, Wicked, The First Pretty Little Liars, and Twisted. I'm pretty sure that there are more books in the series. I just haven't bought them or read them. So those are the um, the Pretty Little Liars books that I am unhauling. Hopefully there will be an amazing teenage girl who goes into the used bookstore that I'm going to um, take these all to. That she squeals her little heart out because these are really good condition and they're almost like brand new. So hopefully another little girl or boy is super, super duper excited about it. All right, so these are just a hodgepodge mix of all different kinds of books that um, I have that I no longer want to have on my shelves because either I've read them and I'm done with them or I just didn't want to read them. There's Help for the Haunted, which I actually have a review on my channel for that I read this summer. I before E except after C, old school ways to remember stuff. Um, I was a teacher and so that was a really fun book to have around. Here are some of the books that I had for my master's degree. Um, Ale or Hamilton, Adams, Jefferson, The Politics of Enlightenment and the American Founding. This is a huge book, but it's Alexander Hamilton and it's by Ron Chernow. This is actually the book that um, Lin-Manuel Miranda read and that gave him inspiration for the Broadway musical, which I absolutely love. War of Two by John Sedgwick, Alexander Hamilton, Aaron Burr, and the duel that stunned the nation. We have Emma in a modern retelling. We have Hex, A Strange Companion, The Good Girl, Alibis, Essays and Short Stories, and Radiance. I also have The Comet Seekers, Vasa in the Night, which is like a Cinderella retelling, The Girl on the Train, and Into the Water. I also have um, this sort of set, the 50th anniversary set of Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged and The Fountainhead. Um, I read this for school and I really do actually really like Ayn Rand. Um, a lot of people don't for some reason. I'm, I, I know that there are many reasons why you would not like Ayn Rand, but I, I love the way she, she put together worlds and thought processes and she was just really interesting to read. I went on a Robin McKinley kick a few years ago and read The Hero and the Crown. 
The Blue Sword and Sunshine. This is another book that um, I hauled because of um, hype and I was, you know, FOMOing and wanted to know what it was all about but then never really got the chance to read it and it's The Red Queen. There's All the Missing Girls, The Life We Bury, and last but certainly not least is Labyrinth Lost. So again, these aren't books that I hated or that um, I rated low or anything like that. They just aren't what I want to be reading right now. I want to be reading cozies. I want to be reading um, books that I, I actually have the urge to like grab and run onto the couch and curl up in my little burrito and, and read. Um, I really want someone else to enjoy these books and I feel bad when I have books on my shelf for too long that I'm not going to read anytime soon. I feel like there are other people who who want to and deserve to read these books and I feel like I'm, I don't know, keeping them to myself selfishly if they're on my shelf for a long time and I'm not enjoying them and so I'm actually going to drive to my local um, used bookstore today, Gardeners, and I'm going to um, trade them in and hopefully I will come back with a pretty big haul of cozy mysteries. I don't know. They've slowly started to expand their cozy mystery section, which I am super duper stoked about. And so I'm hoping that a lot of these books will get me some good trading credit and then they'll have a whole bunch of brand new books to um, sell to all of their other customers. So that's the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope that you guys enjoyed this pretty big unhaul. Um, Leave me a comment down below if you ever feel like maybe you have too many books on your TBR or is there an, is there such a thing as too many TBR books? Like, am I the only one that just sometimes feels really, really guilty about having so much um, books on my TBR? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. I'm not quite sure. Um, remember to follow my Instagram and my um, my WordPress blog. Oh, also, if you're joining in on the Cozy Mystery Book Club that Angela at Writer A Heart and I started, let me know down below. Remember that the book is Meet Your Baker by Ellie Alexander, and we're going to have a live stream on January 31st at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. All right, so... That's really the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope that you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye. Dang it. What? I was hoping we could take Cleo to the used bookstore, too. We're not taking Cleo to the used bookstore. She was in the box. Well, just not everything in the box goes to the used bookstore. For Cleo? We're not doing Cleo.